So here's how I tackle a problem like this. They told me that complex root, and I want to get rid of the complex numbers as soon as I can. So I know, I know because of the quadratic, form, quadratic formula, right? If I have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, if this is a negative number, I'm going to have complex roots, and that's where it comes from. And then these two of them because plus or minus, right? So I know these things occur in conjugate pairs. So if this is a zero, that means, here, let me do some erasing. That means this is also a zero because it's the plus or minus, right? So what we want to do is get rid of the i's and, and get it. It'll give us a quadratic and, and we'll have to do a little more work with it, but at least it's easier than dealing with the i, I think. So I'm going to solve this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the 3 over with the x. I'm going to do that in both cases. It's nice to make the right sign, Dan. And then I'm going to square both sides of this equation in both cases. I'm going to hope you see that one side, that these both are the same. So we only need to worry about one of them. So if I square this and I square this and I square this and I square this, I'm going to get x squared plus 6x plus 9, because I have to FOIL it. And if I square negative i, that turns to negative 1, right? And notice what happens over here. x squared plus 3x plus 3x is 6x plus 9 again. And this also becomes negative 1. So do you see I'm getting the exact same equation? So I really only have to do this with one, one side of it. So that, that's one factor. That's a set of... That's a set of factors. This is an irreducible quadratic factor because if I try to factor it, well, it doesn't factor for number one, and I know it came from a complex number, okay? So now the trick is to find this the fundamental theorem of algebra tells us since this is a, a fourth degree equation, there's going to be four zeros. Two of them are right here. So all we're going to have to do is we're going to do long division, put this through a long division problem into this, this polynomial. We'll get a quadratic that will come out with it, and maybe it'll give us, I mean, chances are we're going to have to use a quadratic formula, but maybe not. We'll have to see what happens, okay? So here, let me move some stuff up. So I'm going to move this up. Let me move that up. Actually, I'm going to need that equation, won't I? So I'm going to negative 3, negative 3x to the 4th minus 14x to the third, minus 2x squared, plus 64x plus 40. And I'm going to divide this by x squared plus 6x plus 10. Now, I don't know if you want to, I should stop this video, or do you know how to do the long division? I don't know. I'll, do, I'll just play it through, and you can always speed it up if you don't need to see this. Um, so what gives x what times x squared is negative 3x to the fourth? Well, negative 3x squared. And then I distribute it through negative 3x to the fourth minus 18x to the third minus 30x squared. And then remember to change the sign because we're subtracting. So the 3x to the fourth is gone. I'm getting 4x to the third plus 28x squared. I'm just going to bring down the rest of it right now so I don't forget it. So then I ask myself, what times x squared gives me 4x cubed? Well, that'll be 4x. So 4x to the third, uh, yeah, third, plus 24x squared, plus 40x. And then, of course, I've got to change the signs subtract them. Let's see if I can move this whole mess up. Can I? Yeah. And then I'm going to do, so that's zero. That gives me uh, 4x squared plus 24x plus 40. Then what times x squared is 4x squared? Well, that's going to be positive 4. So 4x squared plus 24x plus 40, and then remember change our sign, and lo and behold, we get a remainder of zero, which is what we should have got because those two complex zeros were zeros. So I've got, here, let me write this down, and I'm going to take this to another page because this page is getting pretty messy. Let's see, so what did I get for a, 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 a dividend? 
negative 3x to the second plus 4x uh, plus 4. Barely see it through my writing. So now I'm going to set, take this part and set it equal to 0. And I'm going to get rid of the negative by changing all the signs. 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals 0. And I don't you know, he's not going to factor. Um, I'll suspect not. I really don't want to take the time to try to figure that out. So I'm just going to use a quadratic formula. I don't see it off the top of my head. So a equals 3, b equals negative 4, c equals negative 4. And we'll use a quadratic formula. Negative b was turned into positive 4 plus or minus b squared, which is 16, minus 4 times 3 times negative 4, all over 2 times 3. Well, this is not going to be an imag another imaginary number. Let's see what that gives us. That gives us 4 plus or minus the square root of, let's see, 12, so plus 48, right? 16 plus 48. Don't tell me this is going to factor over 6. That's going to be 4 plus or minus, I think it's the square root of 64, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So that tells me it could have factored. So that's going to become, I probably should have been a little more, should have been a little more um, uh, patient and try to figure that out. So 4 plus or minus 8 over 6. So that's telling me the answers are, are 4 plus 8 is 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 4 minus 8 is um, uh, negative 4 over 6 is negative 2 thirds. So that tells me I've got these for factors. I've got, well, let's deal with this one. So x, x, my, x, if, x equals, if x equals negative 2 thirds, if I multiply both sides by 3 and then add 2, I get that factor. And the other one is if x equals what? What did I say? x equals 2. So that would be x minus 2. And then I've got that, what was it? The, from the, it was x squared plus 6x plus 10 was that factor that came from the imaginary roots. Okay, now what we could have done probably is graph that whole equation in the beginning, and we would have been able to see these two rational roots here. And then we would have to just deal with it, you know, multiplying out the, the complex roots. Okay, I hope this helps. And I hope it makes it easier for you.